What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at how you can create separate prices for a product in Kajabi. So this is perfect for you. Maybe if you're trying to create different price tiers for a course or a membership, and you're curious about how to do that, I want to share exactly how to do that with you in this video, in case you're curious about using Kajabi and you just want to know how to create those options for your customers. If you are just starting out an online business and you're looking for that all-in-one platform um, and considering Kajabi, then I have a super special offer for you at the very end that you might want to stick around for. Um, so definitely do that. And uh, without further ado, let's kind of dive into this video. So uh, we're talking about how to create separate prices, right? You might be thinking, well, wouldn't it be as easy as just going into your product and then switching the price, right? But when you do that, you're actually changing the integrated price uh, altogether. So it's not like you're creating separate prices. You're just taking that one price that you listed for your course or your product in general, and then you're changing that price. So let's say from 297 to 397, but now that 297 offer no longer exists, you know, because you've changed the, the complete price to 397. So what you want to do for the most flexibility and to have both options available to your customer to choose from is to set up an offer, a, a different offer. So offers are essentially when you take your product, but then you apply a certain price to it. And in Kajabi, you can create as many offers as you want to. So here we are in Kajabi, right? Under sales, you want to click offers. And then here you can see I, I have this course called Cinematic Music Creation, which has different prices assigned to it. This one is called 297. This one, uh, you can get it for three monthly payments of 110. Uh, I also have a uh, an offer for 497 for the same course. So all of that is done by creating offers. So let me show you really quickly how to do that. You click new offer, you type in the offer title. So let's say we will say test offer price, and then we can select which product we want to add to this offer. We don't have to do that, but let's just say we're trying to add cinematic music creation, right? That's the course we just looked at. What's the payment type? We want, let's say a one-time payment or multiple payments or a subscription, which is month after month or, or per year, or whatever. Let's just say one-time payment. And then how much should that payment be? Let's call it 197. Currency you can change as well, but in this case, we're just using US dollars. And here we are in the offer backend. So again, you can, uh, you can see here what product is uh, included within this offer. You can add more products. So you can choose more courses. So when they purchase this, they will have access to both of those products or more. Again, here's the price, which you can edit again if you want to. Uh, you can create automations, like after they purchase this offer, send them an email or onboard them with an email sequence, add a tag to them and so on and so forth. And then here under the pricing and the upsells, you can do much more. So here you can again, tweak the price if you want to set a limit for this offer availability, time limit or quantity limit. If we take a look at the upsells, you can add upsells and downsells, but then you also want to make sure you edit the checkout page. So, you know, it lists the price here. It gives them options for a card or PayPal because Kajabi integrates with Stripe and PayPal, right? And then you can tweak all this stuff here to say, okay, this is the offer. This is what the course is called. This is what you're going to get in the course, etc. So you definitely want that stuff customized for your own branding. But after that's all done, let's say you've set up two different offers, one at a 197 price and one at a 297 price or 397 to 497. This is what it should look like on the customer's end. So this is the sales page for my course cinematic music creation. If I click join, it's going to scroll all the way down to the pricing options. Here I have the 397 offer and the 497 offer, right? And you can see the 497 offer comes with these bonuses. Now I've set up the offer so that if someone purchases this 497 offer, I will send them an additional email containing all of these bonuses, which are bonus videos. And those, those are hosted on a separate landing page within Kajabi. So I send them an email that says, oh, here are your bonuses. Thanks for purchasing this upper tier of the course. And here you can access all the bonuses and I'll send them that link to that landing page, which hosts all those bonus videos, if that makes sense. But let's take a look. Let's say we want to purchase the 397 offer. We click add to cart. And this is the checkout page we just looked at for the offer, right? So I've customized it. I've added the image of the product and then I've added an order bump here as well. So they can add this product to their order if they want to. It tells them exactly how much the price is gonna be, complete my purchase, right? And then if they want the 497 offer, they click that. And this is the checkout page for the 497 offer. So again, there's the order bump. And then here's exactly what they're gonna learn, you know, so on and so forth. They can apply coupon code if there is one. They can also look at my privacy policy, terms and conditions, disclaimer, and so on and so forth. But that's essentially how you wanna set up different prices and price points for your uh, products. 
Let me show you one more example here. So let's go back to our offers. And I'm going to show you for my Chris's composing community, which is my membership, how that's set up. It's very, very similar. So here you can see that I've got like the annual plan and I've got the monthly plan. So this is typically what I offer on my membership, either a monthly plan or an annual plan. For the annual plan, they get two months free. So the, this offer here basically charges them $1.90 a year, whereas the monthly plan charges them $19 a month. And again, this is just inside the offer, right? So if I go into the annual offer, if I wanna edit the pricing, then I can look at this pro this section over here, price details. So it's gonna be a subscription product. It's gonna be 190 USD. I'm gonna bill them once every year, not once a month, uh, not once a week, but once a year. And then do I wanna give them a trial period? Like, do I want to give them a 30 day free trial? Um, is there gonna be a fee for the trial, like a $1 trial, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, you, can, you can set up even more if you want to, but it's as easy as that. So that's exactly what you wanna to do to set up offers inside of Kajabi. I know it might be a little bit, um, maybe a bit of a learning curve when you're first starting to use the platform, but once you kind of understand how products integrate with offers, because offers again are just the products, but with prices attached to them and what else you wanna include in that, in that purchase, that offer, then it becomes a lot more easy and to navigate around the platform to see all the features that it comes with um, and just take advantage of them. It's kind of like a fun game, you know, because Kajabi comes with so much and it really is an all-in-one tool that you can use for your business. And I, I've been using it for a few years now and it's been very, very helpful and convenient, allowing me to focus on the content that I wanna create and serve my audience with. So let me know your thoughts on this. If you have any questions about offers, let me know in a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're interested in trying out Kajabi for yourself, maybe you're looking for that all-in-one platform that will help you start and scale your online business. I can highly recommend Kajabi because again, they basically do everything you need. They host your memberships, they host your courses, they uh, give you your website that you can host. Um, there is email marketing, right? Very robust. There's analytics. There's just so much you can do. And they usually give you a 14 day free trial on their website, but I want to give you an extended 30 day free trial. So more than double, and you can get that through my affiliate link below in the description box, which just means that if you become a paying member of Kajabi, then part of your payment will come back to support me and this channel, which I would greatly appreciate. There's no obligation of course, but just know that you can get that extended free trial by using my link below. And to sweeten the deal, I also want to give you two bonus mini courses. Uh, one immediately after you sign up for the free trial, it's called Kajabi in 30 days. Uh, this one will take you through exactly how I would approach Kajabi if I were back to the beginning, you know? So there's a series of videos I want you to follow step-by-step. Step. And if you put those into practice and start applying them to your Kajabi backend, you can really, gar uh, sorry, you can really start selling very, very quickly, even within a, a couple of days if you wanted to. And the second mini course you'll receive after you become a paying member of Kajabi, you can forward me your receipt and request it. And I will send that immediately to you. It's called content marketing for creatives. So this goes through the business model that I'm using to build my audience and add value to the world for free, but also monetizing my knowledge on the back end through my courses and my membership and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, they're both super valuable, but you'll receive them for free if you become, become a member of Kajabi using my link below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.